Kathleen and Austin Magroom of the Ace family have finally broken their silence on why they are getting a divorce. Hey guys, Blessing here and how are you all doing? Three weeks have already come and gone again in the year 2024 and these are the highlights of the past week. First on our list is Catherine and Austin McBroom. They have finally revealed why they went their separate ways. So they both did a video. Actually, they did separate videos on their main page on Facebook and this is what Catherine had to say. According to Catherine, she just wants to live her life. She said she want to go back to truly being herself and that she had been lying to herself for a very long time and that she was not happy. She actually said a lot of things and I'm just going to list everything she said here or rather summarize the things that she said, the reasons that she gave for their divorce. According to her, she and Austin never fought, they never argued, they never quarreled in their entire marriage. I know you'd be wondering, so why are you guys getting a divorce? She said that for so many years, she always knew that something was not right and that she's now truly happy with where she is in her life. She said, in fact, she has never been this happy before her entire life and that she and Austin will be very, very great co-parents and that they will definitely always be spending time together with their kids. Now, let us listen to what Austin had to say about the reason for their upcoming divorce. According to him, it hasn't been easy for them in the last few years and that they had been sacrificing their own happiness for their kids and that they put their relationship last and that they were not able to make their relationship their priority, meaning they were busy with every other thing, busy with their children, busy with their family, busy with content, thereby not putting their relationship first. He also added that they are going to remain best of friends and that for the past 10 years that they have been married, they spent every single day together. One other crucial thing that he mentioned was the internet. Mm. He said the internet put them in a box that they call perfect. But yet the same internet wanted to destroy the box to not make it perfect. Does that make sense? And that was the irony in their entire story for me. And he said that process took a toll on them. So eventually he's going to move out of the house. He said he already found a place very close by, which is just a walking distance from where Catherine, his ex, now lives because he wants to be very close with his kids. So the kids are going to be going back and forth every single day. So they are not going to have that program of, okay, the kids are going to be with me for a week and they are going to be with you the other week. He has said that those kids will be spending the day with him and spending the day with mom. So sometimes he and the kids would be in her place and other times she and the kids would be at his place. So they are separating, but it's not going to feel like that for the children because they are going to be going back and forth. They are going to be seeing both parents every single day. The only difference now is that they are going to be having an extra house. What I see here is that I think Kath is the one, the woman in this case. She is the one that really pushed for this dynamic that they now have between them. I think she just wants freedom from what she explained. I couldn't really pinpoint a reason. I mean, someone you don't have issues with, someone you are more or less on the same page with and you just want to leave that person. She fell out of love clearly um, because you don't want to be away from someone you are deeply in love with. She wants to be her own person. I'll continue to follow the story and make sure to keep you guys posted Next on the news is 75-year-old King Charles. You guys know that guy. He went into hospital for the treatment of an enlarged prostate. And according to the Buckingham Palace, it was a corrective procedure that he had to undergo and that all of his public engagements would be put on hold or rather they would be postponed while he recuperates, which is, I don't know, the guy is 75, you know, regular people like you and I, we go on pension when we are 65, 67 years old. But when you're a royal, 
you do this job for the rest of your life. He's 75. I think he needs to retire, but there is no retirement in royalty because there are also other benefits and bonuses that he gets that we do not get. Next is Paris Hilton, who shared very rare and adorable pictures of her son Phoenix as clogged one this week. In the heartfelt message she wrote this week on social media, she says that her baby is more than a dream come true and that he makes her life complete and that she is endlessly grateful to be his mommy, which is so very sweet to read. She also showed off these very gorgeous Fendi track suits that she got or that Phoenix, baby Phoenix got from Kim Kardashian and Kits really sweet happy birthday to baby phoenix moving on the weekend's blinding lights has become the first song ever to reach 4 billion streams on spotify to put this into perspective there are approximately 8 billion people on planet earth so for you to have half of the entire population of the planet that we live in to have listened to your song is immense. That video was released three years ago and it is almost reaching 1 billion views on YouTube as well. Moral of the story is that it is not always when you make the effort that you get the reward. Sometimes it takes months, other times it takes years or decades. Three years ago, this song was released and today, he is hitting a milestone that has never been reached by anybody ever before. Congratulations. And Michelle Obama clogged 60. Barack Obama, ex-president of the United States of America and husband to Michelle Obama, posted a picture on social media congratulating his wife with the message that she makes every day better. Happy birthday to Michelle. 60 looks good on her. Now moving on to not so very news from Mabel Makum, the wife of Nigerian comedian AY. She has been putting up very disturbing posts on social media lately. She has talked about being mentally abused for a long time. She talked about having enough and she mentioned disturbingly threat to life which is quite severe she also mentioned that she was headed to the police station this is let me say not the first time we hear this woman come on social media to rant especially about her relationship so the suspicion here is that she is referring to her husband she didn't mention names but it looks like all fingers are pointed at him. The last time she did stuff like this was when she accused him of cheating on her. It was also on social media. It almost became a scandal. But they were able to find a way to patch things up. And this time around, we do not know where this will lead. So prayers up for this couple. Next is AFCON. You guys know that the Africa Cup of Nations is going on at the moment and Nigeria won their match against the host country, Ivory Coast, winning with one nil. The goal was scored by Dutch Nigerian Super Eagles captain by the name Trust William Ekong. The 30-year-old footballer scored the goal in the 73rd minute when almost all hope was becoming to get lost more or less. He saved the match. I think they did an amazing job. And South African-born comedian and TV host Trevor Noah has become the first ever African to win an Emmy for an outstanding talk series. He won the award for the program called The Daily Show. Many of you know that show that he started in 2015. Congratulations again to Trevor. And Kanye West again in the news. This guy, he knows how to keep his name in the news. He knows how to keep people talking about him. And the reason he has been trending week after week after week for the entire year is his wife, Bianca Sensori. This guy has been sharing raunchy and racy pictures of Bianca. She's Australian and I think she's loving it. I hope she's not under duress. I hope she's not doing it against her will. But it's just crazy that this man is staying relevant using her body. 
what do you guys think about this honestly would you let your wife where are the men in the house would you let your wife or would you post such pictures of your wife on social media and last but not least in the news for this week is summer Moore. she posted this cute little video on her social media and of course you guys know that justin dean has not really been posting lately ever since he announced that he was going to delete his facebook page people haven't seen much of him so many people are now flocking to some of more social media accounts to get an update of what might be happening with him and of course with her and their relationship and it's really sweet to see footage like this you know justin dean not very visible on social media but for people to get a sneak peek into how he's spending his day you know away from all the noise away from all the public brouhaha and to see him in a peaceful place like this i think it's really heartwarming especially for his fans of course to see that he is fine he's in a peaceful place and i believe that is what everybody ultimately wants a place you can just retreat to and be yourself and be at peace with yourself and with who you're sharing your private moments with very beautiful to see and of course that they are not throwing everything in our faces because as people who are on social media you usually have that inner urge no matter how small it is that makes you want to come out and post your life post what you're experiencing whether good or bad online but in their case they are keeping as much as possible to themselves which is the purest form of just enjoying each other's company that is really beautiful to see and again i am really happy for these people and as usual we have come to the fashion segment and i need to tell you guys bob risky has been winning fashion wise the entire year he never disappoints there's just something about his style that is unique and eye-catching i love everything about this dress i love the color i love the design i love the accessories the styling everything is just top-notch and perfect in my opinion other dresses that are in the running of most fashionable are this one this red gorgeous dress it's supposed to be a maternity dress but also sexy at the same time i love this one the way it hugs the full breasts just sexy and classy at the same time and ooh, i love this one i love the color perfect style for her body type it's really essential for women to know the kind of dresses and kind of designs that match the kind of body that they have this dress is screaming i'm one of the wives of the king i'm the queen mother it's just elegant it's beautiful in every sense of the word and last but not least, this red one by Yami Aladi. I must tell you that this look, this outfit is not in the running. I just included it because I'm beginning to love the outspokenness and the expression that she is bringing to the table when it comes to what she wears. In my opinion, this is not fashion. It is more haute couture. just wanted to share the beauty of it with you guys. So the winner for this week oh my god this one is so difficult but i think i'll just give it to this one right here this is a lovely dress that could be worn by women of all ages the styling is also impeccable go ahead in the comment section and let me know what you think about my choice and which dress stands out for you so i think that's all we have time for today i want to thank all of you for watching this video especially if you watched all of it let me know if you have suggestions or news tips by sending me an email also do us well by sharing this video within your community and if you'd like to see many more videos like this and get all the highlights that you might have missed as a result of your busy schedule or other reasons all you have to do is follow this page if you're not already following Thank you once again. I remain blessed in the analyst and I will catch you all on my next one.